Okay, when I initially solved this problem, I made a mistake, but I think what I did was what often many students face, which is actually reading the question correctly. This question is asking us um, how many containers of soda can be completely filled by the amount of liquid that we're given. In other words, if we have a bunch of 20 ounce containers of soda, how many of them will be totally filled up by what? By 2 liters of soda. I initially read this as um, if you have two liters of soda, how many containers will you need to hold all the liquid? This is not saying that, this is saying how many containers will be completely filled by that liquid. So let's look at this. It says that one liter is approximately 1.06 quarts. So we have our first ratio. One liter for every 1.06 quarts. And then we have 32 ounces for every one quart. So 32 ounces for every one quart. And they want to know, let's say you have two liters, how many 20 ounce containers of soda do you need to hold all of that liquid? So let's just look back at our ratios. One liter is 1.06 quarts. So what's two liters? Well, then two liters is double of one liter, right? So two liters is the same as 2.12 quarts. I'll put Q there for quarts. All I'm doing here is doubling these parts, and I get this new ratio. And what do we know? Well, every one quart has 32 ounces. So what does this mean? Well, we have over two quarts. What would two quarts be? Well, two quarts, of course, is double one quart. So two quarts would hold 64 ounces. Now. How many quarts do we have exactly? Well, we have 2.12 quarts, right? But that 0.12 quarts, that's a little bit more, of course, than a tenth of a quart. A tenth of a quart, well, if we divide both sides by 10, we get 3.2 ounces is one tenth of a quart, just dividing by 10. That's so easy, of course, because when you divide by 10, you move your decimal once to the left, it becomes 10 times smaller. What does this tell you? Well. 0.12 of a quart, whatever that is exactly, it's slightly more than a tenth, and that's only another 3.2 ounces. But every container of soda is 20 ounces, right? And we have 64 ounces, so three containers will be filled. One, two, three. So that's 20, 40, 60 ounces of liquid. We have well, we have 64 ounces plus a tenth of a quart. But ask yourself, is, are those 4 ounces and about another 3.2 ounces, maybe another 4 ounces, fill up an entire another bottle? No way, right? 4 ounces and about another 4 is only about 8 ounces, right? It will not fill the entire container up to the max here. So that means only 3 containers will be filled, and our choice is B. Now I chose C originally because, it, and you can see it here in the problem, right? it takes four containers to hold all this liquid, um, but only three of them are filled. Alright, I hope this helped, and thank you for all your comments.